I'm often asked how we can tell the difference between a real Birkin and a fake Birkin. And today I'm going to show you how. First of all, can you tell the difference between the two bags? Which one's the real one and which one's the fake one? This chocolate brown one is actually the real one and the red one is the fake. First of all, I'd like to point out that this red fake Birkin is an incredibly good fake. Now, before we begin, this is actually, both of them are technically Birkin 35s, and the 35 is actually referring to the width of the base of the handbag. Now, as you can see, the real one is indeed 35. And I'll move to the fake one, and you'll notice that it is also the same. If you take a quick look at the two bags, the real and the fake, it's actually very difficult to tell which one is real and which one is fake. Even the base of the bags look incredibly similar. However, once you start looking at the finer details, such as the black trim, and you'll notice this trim actually goes around the top of the entire handbag, and it actually goes along the side of the flaps as well. The one on the real handbag is much more refined, and it's smoother, whereas the one on the fake, you might be able to see this, it's actually a bit thicker. The leather here is actually a bit rougher as well. And once you take a closer look at it, you'll also be able to see that some of the black actually rolls over into the red leather. And you'll know that that hasn't been properly well done. The Hermes Birkin is a handcrafted handbag by artisans in France. And you'll be able to tell that there's a higher quality stitching throughout the entire bag compared to that of the fake. And you'll see this throughout from the top flap as well as on the closure straps. These closure straps are also referred to as the tongues, but I'll just continue to refer to them as the closure straps um, for this video. In the Birkin handbags, there are clochettes that come with the bag, and before you saw them hanging, and now I just want to show you that the locks on the fake is actually a very pretty good fake. However, once you actually compare the two very closely, the dimensions are actually a bit different. The real one is a bit taller, it's also a bit wider, and the center is also a bit puffier in the middle. And at the, at the base of the lock, there is an engraved word of Hermes and also an engravement of a number. This number should correspond to the number seen at, on the keys. In addition, once you actually hold the keys in your hand, you'll notice that the fake keys are much lighter than that of the real ones, also an indicator that it's made of poor quality. The final thing I want to mention about the clochette is that when you do pull the keys back in, when you look at it, once they're in, you'll notice there's a huge difference between the real one, in which it's actually quite flat, whereas the fake one is quite open. And this is a key sign of a real and a fake Birkin. Speaking of the gold hardware that you can see on this, on this Birkin, a lot of people always ask me, why is there an extra engraving mark right next to the word Paris? Let me just move this over so you can get a better look. There is an extra mark at the end of the word Paris here. And this is actually only seen on the bags that have gold hardware. And as I mentioned before, the gold hardware, it should always actually match. So the lock should match, 
The class should also be of the same color as well as um, the closing strap here. The base is also going to be of the corresponding color for the hardware. One of the key defining characteristics in authenticating an Hermes Birkin bag is to take a look at the inside of the closure strap and you'll see that on one side there's going to be a letter. For example, this one is an M and it's encased in a square. The letter actually indicates the year of production. And so, for example, because this letter M is encased in a square, this bag was actually made in 2009. All the bags that were made from 1997 to present day will, be in will, have, will have a letter encased in a square. The 26 years prior are going to be letters that are encased in a circle. So those will be the years from 1971 to 1996. From 1945 to 1970, there is actually no geometric shape. On the other side, you'll notice that there are some letters or some numbers, and this actually represents the artisan who actually created the bag. Now I'm going to show you the fake one here, and they've also done a very good job of trying to copy this as well. But you'll notice that here, they've actually put an R, also encased in a square, and there are also some numbers on the other side. However, the stamping of these letters and the numbers is much coarser, whereas on the real one it's much more refined. This chocolate brown Birkin is made of very soft Togo leather. And what I tend to like to do is that when I'm storing my bags, because it is such a soft leather, I like to stuff it so that it keeps its shape when I keep it in my wardrobe. Another feature that I would like to point out is the zipper. You can see here that the zipper with the leather lies flat horizontally against the zipper here. However, in many of the fakes, that flap will actually flap downwards. If you do feel the leather of this zipper clasp, you'll notice that the leather of the fake Birkin is much thicker and a bit rougher than that of the soft Togo of the real Birkin. I'd also like to mention that inside of the bag, there will be that zipper pocket I already showed you at the back, but there will also be an open pocket at the front of the bag. When you see one of the bags with some rubbing at the bases and the corners of the handbag, this is actually just pretty normal in terms of regularly using the handbag. It's just typical wear and tear that you would see with using the handbag and is perfectly normal. You'll notice that one of the key and one of the very first things you will notice is actually the stamping of the Hermes Paris made in France here, right at the center of the handbag. The coloring of these letters here will always match the hardware color. And so if you see that this doesn't match, it's very obvious that that is a fake. Another key thing to notice between the real one and the fake is that the font is different. And the actual stamping of the real letters here on the chocolate brown Birkin, it's much more finely and firmly etched into the handbag. The last thing that I wanted to mention are the dust bags. 
Now, up until a few years ago, the Hermes dust bags used to be orange. The most recent ones are now this color. This is the real dust bag, and this is the fake. And although the fabric and the pattern looks very similar, once you actually hold it in your hand, you'll notice that the real one is heavier, it's thicker, whereas the fake one is actually much thinner, it's smoother, and it's quite limp. If we take a closer look at the logos here, the real one, first of all, has a double circle on the outside. And when you look at the finer details, you'll notice that the font for the H is different. Also, the circle surrounding the H is different as well. The line underneath the horse and the carriage there are two lines under the real one, and in fact, in this one, there's only one single line. In addition to that, there are much more finer details that you can see for the horse, the carriage, that are just not present in the fake dust bag. Some other things to note is actually the drawstring. Let me open this one here as well. You'll notice right away that there's a color difference between the drawstring from the real bag as well as from the fake dust bag. And when you actually look at the stitching at the top, It's actually much deeper here than it is on the real one. The clochette here, it also comes with its own mini dust bag. And so take note that the real Birkins will always have that. Thank you so much for watching our video today. I hope that you've learned a little bit more in terms of authenticating an Hermes Birkin bag, telling the difference between the real one and a fake one, and we hope you come back to watch some more videos. Thanks so much.